Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Crisco's Corner. I never do this. In fact, I've never done this. I've uh, found this channel on YouTube. If you see right here, it's Hoag, H-O-A-G. He's a gentleman, his wife, and his two daughters, I believe they're 16 and 14, the girls, moved from California, where he grew up, to eastern Tennessee, not very far from where I live. Or I plan to live, I put it that way. Boy, that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> And I live in upstate New York in Binghamton. Upstate New York is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But there's one problem. It's attached to New York City with all of its rules, taxes, regulations. And I've been in business 22 years. Small convenience store, Bottle Redemption Center, for those of you that don't know. People bring back their bottles and cans to get the nickel back deposit to keep the stuff out of the landfill. And for that, you make money handling them, and that's the way it works. And over time, uh, it's not just COVID. It's slowly deteriorating. The area I live in, Binghamton, was called the Valley of Opportunity. And slowly over time, now I was born in 1956. It's my dad used to kid around when he was alive. He says, you know, right after you were born, boy, the area started going slowly downhill. <laughs> and I said, you know, thanks a lot, Pop. You know, and he's like, no, I'm just making an observation. And he'd laugh, you know. Because he grew up here as well, and I spent my whole life here, except for three or four years that I lived up in Utica, which is up towards the Adirondacks, which is also gorgeous. Both of my kids were born up there. I worked for a company, and I was transferred up there. And then when my wife and I split up in 86, I moved back down here to Binghamton, who went through a lot. But, hey, that's, you know, life's full of ups and downs. And this gentleman is, is doing his vlog talking about is how his life is and how things are in Tennessee compared to California. And, you know, sometimes he's critical, sometimes he's not. I really like this guy a lot. His name is Matt, and I believe he pronounced his last name Hoag, H-O-A-G, you see there? I encourage everybody to watch this guy's channel. And he went on a little bit of a rant here in this video. I, no, I watched this gentleman's channel before. And when I watch this video, and I'm not going to play it all, I'm going to play bits and pieces of it. This guy's got it down. This guy knows what's going on. He knows what's going on that's not good. And I tell you, I'm extremely jealous of him. Well, of course, I'm 30 years older than him probably, so that's part of it. But even still, it's about being free. It's about living your life. It's about your life having some meaning. And... Here in New York, he's from Southern California, which is 10 times worse than where I'm at. And this is long before COVID. This has nothing to do with COVID-19. That's just piled on to the, to the pile. Uh, what do they call that in the old days, the penalty piling on in football? It's just piling on. And I've recently sold my business. I'm right in the process of cleaning it out. I've been here over 20 years, boy. So the stuff you accumulate... <laughs> Boy, it's really tough throwing stuff out, but you got to do it. You got to move on. Um, nothing ever stays the same. Everything changes. And this gentleman made a huge, huge change in his life. Took his two teenage girls. I believe they were 12 and 14 at the time. And moved to eastern Tennessee. His wife's a personal trainer, and he does videos. I think he does videos like wedding videos and special occasion videos he has some drone footage and some music. This guy knows how to do videos, I'll tell you. He's got a really, really cool intro. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. So you can tell this guy knows what the hell he's doing video-wise. And he, like I said, he lives with his wife and his two daughters. They're on occasionally. His wife is Mackenzie. They call her Babs. And uh, she's really cool, too. And they're all from Southern California, and he brought... 
his kids, right? And they're just the early teens. And that's a very formidable year. I mean, just uprooted them from their friends and their family and moved out here. Uh, I've been to Central Tennessee and Crossville, where I think I might end up. And it, when it comes down to one thing, meaning in your life, being free to do the things you feel fulfillment in. Without everybody standing all over you, this rule for that, this rule for that, this rule for that. There's a couple episodes where he goes back to California, and of course they're not used to wearing the mask now in Tennessee. They do wear them, but it's not nearly as restrictive. And he lives by Maryville, Tennessee, and he goes through all the seasons. You know, they have winter there, and like what people think. It shows him snowboarding with his family. And you can tell that his quality of life has dramatically improved. Now, he doesn't go on a lot of detail what his life was like in California. Now, I'm sure Matt wouldn't mind if I paid a small snippet here. He drops his daughter off at a soccer game. Now, if you see from the date, this is March 6th. This is this month. Like I said, I watched this gentleman's channel, but something about this episode really, really, really spoke to me. And like I said, I'm right in the middle of cleaning out my business. It got sold. The building I uh, have the business and got sold. So I'm ready to move on. Now I'm 64. And he says, well, you know, you're a little too old to move on. No, you are never, ever too old to start over. And I've started over five, six, seven times. <laughs> and it's tough. But life is like that. It has to be done. I have no idea what the future holds, just like this gentleman didn't know. He has a couple, three businesses he does in videography. His wife's a personal trainer, like I said. And I admire this guy a lot. Matt, you are my new hero, I'm telling you. And he's, and I, and I think when I say this, it's not a shot. I think he would agree. He's nobody special. He's just an everyday American that gives a damn about the country, that gives a damn about his family. It gives a damn about the community he lives in. And there's much more community here, and he goes on and on. I encourage everyone to watch the Hogue vlogs, they call them. Let me play a little small snippet here. See if I can do so it without being too loud. When we stop letting it. Now my, my laptop's a little crappy, so it's going to come in. So I, I had a post... I hopefully it'll play better. It was really interesting and, and. Oh, see, I got a, yeah, that's too bad. I'll probably edit this part out, but it's, um, this poor laptop is working hard. So let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll drop it down uh, to 480. How they've all of a sudden put. So well, the video is not going to play that well. Um, I got a really crappy laptop, so, and I've got the the webcam running. Plus, I have Camtasia Studio recorder. But I'm telling you, this guy figured it out, and he's now vlogging and recording and putting on for posterity, so to speak, his experience in moving from California to Tennessee. I encourage everybody to go to this gentleman's channel, especially if you're someone that is not happy. Look how beautiful Tennessee is. I was there about a year and a half ago. My uncle moved there, my mother's brother, years ago. But it is an amazing place. And as you can see, he has all different kinds of videos, how he heads back in California here. He had to do some family business with his wife's grandmother's house and hiking and just talking. You know, if you're offended by the opinions, and then he puts well, this one here, a welcome to the new blog, where he, put, he puts a little spoof on at the beginning where everything's all unicorns and lollipops, and he skips around. It's really, really freaking comical. And it's sarcastic, and it should be. It's meant to be sarcastic, and he's trying to prove a point. Uh, if you're offended by the opinions of our content... Change the channel. Absolutely. And this this guy's got it. 
And from growing up in Southern California, I'm really, really impressed that one, you know, a guy in his position would have the, uh, the nerve and the guts. And as the, uh, my Spanish friend says, the, the wervos <laughs> to, to move to Tennessee. It might as well be on the other side of Mars. And he said in one of the videos the other day, his daughter said her life is a lot better. And being a teenage girl is a really tough time. It's a great time, and it's a, it's, a, it's a tough time at the same time. And I think this guy has it marked down perfectly. We are giving up our rights. We are giving up our, our, our meaning in life for what? For money, I mean, I like money like the next guy. I was in business 22 years, and I struggled the whole time. Hey, believe me, would I like to have a lot more money than I have now? You betcha. You know, money isn't everything, but it's not nothing either. But this guy's a little luckier than, than me in a way. He's got a great wife, two great kids, and I wish him the best. But I think people that think like me and like Matt here and his family – they get it. And this is before COVID, so there's nothing to do with COVID. This just reinforced what he believed in already. And Tennessee's a great place. If you want to live the freest, I think, maybe not the freest state, but one of the freest states in the United States, people are different. You get a lot of, hey, you know, I got to start, if I move down there or visit a little while, I'll have to get used to my, hey, you know, and it's, the people, and they're not perfect, don't get me wrong. Nobody's perfect anywhere. But just go up and talk to a total stranger, they'll just talk your ear off. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, pretty good. You get that a little bit here in upstate, but not that much. People have been ground into dust, so to speak, in submission over time with the exorbitant taxes and, and, the, and the economy just taking a crap. And it has been since... Like my dad used to say when I was born in 1956. And I think this guy has figured it out. And he had the, the uh, wearables, as, uh, as they say, to make a change. And this is a huge change for me. And uh, even before my business was sold, I watched this gentleman's channel. But now it's been sold. And I'm cleaning out my business here. You can't see it behind me, but I'm in the back room of my store right now. And in the future, I'll be doing my videos from my house. It's just easier here at the business. But I'm telling you, this guy's got it figured out. This guy's got it figured out what America is really all about and what we're losing. What we're losing in the America that the founders set up. And he sees we're losing it. And he's... He's not happy, and neither am I. And he's just, he's like me. This PC nonsense is just for the effing birds. Live your life, live your life free. And even more importantly, have some meaning in your life. I don't know what the future holds. I really don't. Uh, my mother's still here in the area. That's the main reason why I'm still here. Uh, after my business is sold, we'll have to see what happens. But that's the scary part, and that's the exciting part at the same time. You don't know what's next. And you have an idea in your mind that you're going to put more meaning in your life. For those of you with families like Matt here, more meaning in their lives. And positive meaning. And just live life and have fun. I know, work hard too, but have fun. And I think a lot of us, including myself, I might add, have forgotten how to have fun. And it's sad. And I've lived 30 more years probably than Matt has. And he figured it out. I've still yet to figure it out, but I've made the first step. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to move from a place that's just, just not working. And it hasn't worked for a long time. Get the balls and the guts to say, you know what? Enough is enough. You're only allotted so much time on this earth. 
You're going to waste another 10 years of it? I maybe have 15, 20 years left. Do I want to waste half of that or more trying to figure out how to make it in an area where it's almost impossible to make it? It isn't just about money. It's about community. It just isn't one anymore. Give you an idea. I have a chess club in the back of my store for free. Beautiful area. Had chess stuff all over the walls. I've taken it all down because I'm moving. Tables up, brand new sets and boards. I have an older gentleman that would teach chess to anybody for free. He's a rated master. I, it's a, you know he's, he's, he's currently an expert, but he was, used to be a rated master. An expert is more than strong enough. Teach everybody for free. Just guys come here and play, even before COVID. And what I got on Saturday afternoons from 12 to 5, Beautiful. got a lot of parking here, convenient location, and I got this. Crickets. How, how, how is it possible that you've got to spend, I don't mind spending the money on the equipment and stuff and the tables and, and all the stuff on the walls about chess to make it look like a nice chess area. That was my choice because I loved the game and I loved to hang around people that loved the game. But to beg somebody to come in and do something they love and then they don't do it after you beg them for over 10 years and do everything in your power to make it easier for them, there's something wrong with the area. There's something wrong with the mindset and the mentality. And I think because of second, third generation now, we've been ground in the dust. So let's listen to what Matt has to say. And he's just a guy just shooting the breeze. I mean, if you ran into him in a restaurant or a bar, or him and his wife and his family, they're just normal, regular people. But they want to live free and happier, have some meaning in their life. I strongly encourage everyone to go to Matt's channel here. I get absolutely nothing out of it. In fact, he has no idea that I'm even doing this. I hope he doesn't mind. But I'm telling you, this guy's got it figured out. Now, does he have everything in life figured out? Of course not. Nobody does. And you play life as it goes along. Don't try to plan out so everything's so tiny, minute, because you'll never get it done. Pack up your stuff. Quit your job, especially if you don't own any property. It's easier to leave. Take two or three months to save as much money as you can. Maybe put some feelers now on the internet and get an idea of the jobs are like in that area you want to go to. He happens to pick Eastern Tennessee. Um, I'm I'm going to probably be maybe less than an hour from where he's at, and it's a wonderful place. The people are just way different, way different, and because they've lived life a little bit better, and it's had a lot more meaning to them. So if you're not happy from where you're at. Do what Americans have always done. Go where the opportunity is and go where your life will have some meaning. I mean, look at all the immigrants. We were a country of immigrants. Millions came here. Just picked up from Europe and other places they came from and left everything they had to come to a country where most of them didn't even speak the language. But they did it because America was a place that you could find your way, raise your family, be free, and your life had some meaning. This gentleman's way on his well on his way to fulfilling that. And I tip my hat, so to speak, to Matt. I watch his videos all the time. In fact, I've watched several over. And like I said, he's just a regular guy with a wife and two kids. And he figured it out. America is a place or if you're not happy from where you're at, you just get up and go somewhere else. Don't be afraid. Just do it. That's the old what, Nike saying, just do it. You know, I'm not a big fan of Nike, but the saying still fits. Just do it. Do it before your clock runs down on you. I'm 64, and I'm going to do it. It's just a matter of when in the next two or three years, maybe sooner. We'll have to see. But I know I need to go. And it's sad and it's tragic. But you're the only one responsible for your meaning in your life. You're the only one that's responsible for your happiness. Don't let the clock 
run out on you. Find some meaning. Go where you need to go. Leave the area like he left Southern California and I leave New York State. Go be happier and freer. And I hope everybody watches his channel. He says a lot without being preachy. He's an amazing guy. And I take my head off to him, his wife, for having the nerve to do this, to help out themselves, and more importantly, their two children, whose lives will be dramatically improve from Southern California. And they grow up to be a lot happier. And so will his grandchildren, I have no doubt. So this is the one thing I've never done yet, is promote somebody's channel. But folks, listen to this gentleman he knows it, what he's doing, and he's figured it out. And he's living his best life he can. Until next time, folks, goodbye and good luck.